Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have an announcement to make, but before I get to it, I want to talk about some changes that I'm going to be making on my channel. I'm all about healthy living and I would like um, to expand my channel a little bit. The content has been so far healthy food, tasty, healthy and simple food fast. Um, and that's all well and good. I'm, I'm going to continue to do that, but I'm also going to add in some, uh, some interviews and maybe, and some exercise information because healthy living is more than just food. Uh, it involves the body, mind, and the spirit. So I'm going to expand the content a little bit, which also brings me to my announcement. And that is on Thanksgiving Day, um, roughly four months from now, a little bit more, I am going to run a four mile road race. And this is significant because I had been running, and I think I'm going to go back and say further and say my history with exercise has not been very good. Uh, when I was a child, um, I was the pudgy kid that was always chosen last for the team. I hated sports, mostly because I wasn't very good at it. And um, my experience with exercise as an adult uh, has been primarily because I hated my body and I wanted to change it. It really wasn't until in the last five or six years that I started exercising simply because I wanted to be good to myself and it changed everything. It changed my attitude toward it. It changed the way I felt doing it. I went from hating it to loving it. And what I would like to, um, I went from hating exercise to loving it and I ran, I started walking and gradually started adding in some running and then more running until I was doing 12 miles a week and loving every second of it until my knee started to give me trouble. And about a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, I saw an orthopedist and he told me I was never going to run again that I would need injections every few months and then in a few years need a full knee replacement. And I have to say, I silently, I silently told him where he could put his injections and it took some doing, but I finally found a really great physical therapist. And I've been in physical therapy now since last October and it's helped immensely. Who knew that strengthening your glute would help your knee? But it certainly has. So I am running again. And for the last, after two years of not running regularly, I am running again. The last six weeks, I've been out three times every, three times a week. And, um, I'm gradually building my fitness back up again. That's why it's significant. But the reason I'm doing this publicly is because I want other people my age. Um, I feel like running particularly, but, but exercise is empowering. I love the way it feels to be strong. And I want to encourage other people to do it. And you can. It doesn't matter how crappy you are at sports. It doesn't even mean, I mean, even now, even though I love it, and even though I can tell you it is so empowering, I'm not winning any awards. In fact, the very first road race I ran, I was the last one over the finish line. But that's okay because at least I was doing it. And I love the way it feels to be fit and strong. I love the sense of accomplishment. 
And I love the endorphin rush. And you can get that from any kind of ex exercise. It doesn't have to be running. It's also, as we get older, the tendency is to want to slow down. And that's exactly when you need to ramp it up because I'm 64 years old and it's use it or lose it. And I damn well am not going to lose it. So I will be vlogging regularly about my progress. Uh, and I think that, you know, social media, you always want to put your best foot forward. But I think what ends up happening is people want to show their best and then they end up looking like they're living this perfect life. And that's not always the case. So I am going to vlog about the realities of training for a four mile road race at, at 64 and getting running legs back that I've had. And if there's any injury or if I have any difficulties, I'll let you know. Um, so I'll let you know about the successes as well as the problems. And I hope that along the way, I may have some trainers or therapists, physical therapists, interview them to get their take on how it's possible for someone who is getting older to get out there and exercise. And um, because you can't outrun a bad diet, but exercise is critical to your well being, absolutely critical. So I hope you'll join me on this journey. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and I will. I'll see you soon.